So this session we'll be discussing about cellular slime molds. I've told you that there are two types of slime molds. One is acellular, what we have already talked about. Next is cellular slime molds. So what happens in cellular slime molds? The spore after germination will produce the gametes. Those are called amoeboid cells. Now amoeboid cells are unicellular and these amoeboid cells they will release a chemical called acrasin and acrasin works as the signal for other amoeboid cells and which brings them together. So apart from acrasin there is one more thing which is coming into effect is CAMP. CAMP stands for cyclic adenosine monophosphate. So because of the presence of cyclic adenosine monophosphate and acrasin both I mean most of the amoeboid cells will be coming close and they will be forming a pseudoplasmodium like structure. Because of the presence of acrasin they are called acrasiomycota. Now what happens when the pseudoplasmodium is forming there are many amoeboid cells sitting it looks like it has formed some uh, what you call plasmodium like structure but this is not plasmodium this is something like pseudoplasmodium where most of the amoeboid cells are sitting together. The time they are sitting together this feature will ask them for the division of labor. So from the division of labor or say the advancement is coming which will be giving the advances of multicellularity. So cellular slime mold are called most advanced slime molds because of the presence of division of labor and the feature which will be taking them to multicellularity. Now what happens, what was happening in a cellular slime mold was isogamy. The swarm cell was reacting with swarm cell or my example was reacting with another my example. But what happens in cellular slime mold is an isogamy. An isogamy is fusion of gametes and the gametes should be different in sizes. So what happened here, my, what you call the amoeboid cells, those are formed. One of the amoeboid cells will become large and one remains small. So the larger amoeboid cell will be engulfing the smaller amoeboid cells. As soon as it engulfs the smaller amoeboid cell, the particular after the dissolution of cell wall, the what you call the plasmogamy occurs, the fusion of what you call the protoplasm has taken place. Now what happens inside the larger what you call amoeboid cell what will be happening is karyogamy and the karyogamy will be happening and that is how it forms the zygote. The zygote will again be forming you know some sporangium like structure which will be bearing spores. The spores after germination will again produce the same sort of a cycle. So this was all about cellular slime mold and next session we will be discussing about protozoa.